guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Halls. How are you doing today? I am doing fabulous and I'm in my car. We're going to do a little vlogging. Haven't done that in a while, so I thought I'd bring you along as I'm got to go run some errands, pay some bills, go to the DT, and then I got to go see my fabulous little granddaughter, Kylie Mae, and my son because he's babysitting and uh, you know how that goes. It always cracks me up when the men think they're babysitting their own kids. You know what I mean? It just cracks me up. It's like you're not babysitting your own kid. You're taking care of your own kid. You know? Hold on just one second. I have to answer a text. Um, so, um, what's everybody got planned for this weekend? What are you guys doing? It is so beautiful out here today. I can't get over it. It is gorgeous. I mean, it is sunshiny. It's actually warm. I'm hoping to actually get a walk in with the hubs later because I need to start exercising. I've actually gained some weight, which is bad because I um, lost all that weight when I was in the hospital, which was not good, but I actually gained some of the weight back and I don't didn't want to do that. Um, because I don't know if, I mean, I think I've told a lot of you guys, I've had gastric bypass <clears throat> um, three years ago and I've lost over 150 pounds, but I've struggled to get the last 80 pounds off. It's been really, really hard um, to get it off and it requires me to exercise and I hate to exercise. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. There's nothing fun about it. I don't like it. I just don't want to do it and I just got to... Move your ass, Lisa. Exercise. So, oh, I'm going to drive by the pond here. Oh, let's see if the ducks are out. Hold on one second. I'm just looking at the, see the ducks. Oh, they're all out swimming and playing in the water. I love seeing the ducks. Love this time of year, especially when they get the little baby ducks going. And they're so cute. The little, um, oh, what do you call those? The little mallard ducks are my favorites. So... I think that's what you call them, mailer ducks. Anyway, so back to the exercise thing. I just got to do it. I've got a free membership at a gym, and I just need to move my butt. So I guess I'm asking you guys to hold me accountable. So tell me. Yell at me. Say, move your ass, Lisa, because I need to get this last 80 pounds off. This is ridiculous. It's, it can be done. I, I just need to do it. I've come this far. I need to do it. I want to be healthy. I want to I want to just be healthy again, you know. My hair is starting to finally grow back. Thank you, Pam, um, for that fabulous shampoo you sent me because that's worked wonders. And um, I just... I just want to be healthy. I want to get healthier. I never want to be this sick again. This is awful. Anyways, negative, negative, negative. Stop being negative. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful outside. Gorgeous, sunny, sunny, warm, warm. What is the weather in your area? Tell me about your weather. Is it nice? Is it beautiful? I hope it is for you guys. I really do. I hope it's gorgeous because it's gorgeous. Oh, there's golfers out. I live across the street from a golf course and there's lots of golfers. That's cool. I wonder if there's any garage sales today. I love garage sailing. There's, if there's a garage sale, we're going. Yes, we are. We'll be going to some garage sales, people. I love garage sales, especially if I can find some good deals. What am I looking for this year? I'm looking for a dresser. I need to find a new dresser that I can redo. Except I don't want a just normal, normal dresser. I want a chest of drawers. They're tall. My brother one time found a fabulous dresser that had like 15 drawers. Ah, oh, the thing was gorgeous. He redid it. I'm like, if you ever get rid of it, I want it. <laughs> but, um, and what else am I looking for? I don't know. I just like going to garage sales and finding different finds. I one time went to a garage sale. She must have sold 31. And I got one of these purses for like five bucks. Oh, there's a garage sale. Where's it at? Oh, Bethany Church. I wonder if I should go walk up there and check it out. Might as well. Let's go check it out. Let's go check the little garage sale out and see if they got anything. You never know. 
you never know. You just never know what they may have. They might have some stuff, or they might not. We'll just have to go check her out. That's what we'll have to do. So I'm gonna let you guys go for right now and then I'll be back, okay? And I'm back. I stopped in this garage sale and um, it was a church sale and I got uh, a couple good little things. Um, I got Mike a sweater for a brand new sweater for three dollars and I got little Miss Kylie Mae. If mommy says no, ask grandma. Isn't that cute? Thought that was darling. And then where's the other thing go? Hold on, that's something else to show you. Um, for us crafty people. I got these for 50 cents, which, you know, um, Michael's had them for 50 cents, but it's going for a good cause. So that for 50 cents. And then this was darling. This is a Martha Stewart 10-piece. Um, uh, looks like a little drink with some beautiful flowers. Um, got that for 50 cents. And then this was really cool. Um, this is a close to my art speckled eggs. Let's see if I can pull this out here. Um, it's an Easter one and so on and so forth. But look at that. I got this for 50 cents. But it's a close to my heart. Can you guys see that? Oops, sorry, I'm not in there. There we go. So it's close to my heart stamp and I got that for 50 cents. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, and then my other great find, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you, but we're going to try. I've been wanting one of these for so long, but they're just expensive. I didn't want to spend the money and all this and that. And it's stupid to probably a lot of you guys, but I got this little, um, cured coffee cup, K cup holder. So yeah, that's what I got. And I wanted one. So there you go. Got one. So anyways, that was my find for this morning. So there we go. Now we're off to go to the store really quick because I got to get a couple things there. And then I will be off to the DT. And then um, I will go pick up something for my son that he asked for. And then I will pick up something for Jaden, which is my son's soon to be stepson. He's three. It's Kylie Mae's big brother. He's a darling little boy. Um, <clears throat> it's warm in here. I think I'm gonna turn this heat up. I don't need the heat on. Whew. A little touch, a little touch warm in here. With the sun that's beautiful and bright. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Can't say enough good stuff about it love going to those church sales. If you ever get to go to church sale, find out what they're doing it for. But this one is a missions trip and they're doing it locally, which is fabulous. Love seeing them do a local missions trip, so that's cool. Oh, you guys, I just can't say enough about this beautiful weather. I'm so blessed. You know? Just so blessed. Um, can't, I just can't say enough. So anyways, um, so glad I didn't have to work today. It's my day off Fridays. I don't normally have to go in. Once in a while I have to go in, but I didn't have to go in today. Which is a good thing. Another, sorry, I got a text message. I got to answer it really quick. So I have to look for them at the Dollar Tree to see if I can find them. I haven't seen those in a while, so I'll have to look. Gotta call the dentist when I get home to get my tooth fixed because I feel like a freak with all my, my, if you're wondering what this is, I cracked my tooth. I cracked my tooth. <laughs> I sound funny too. Um, which totally sucked because, you know, that's going to cost some money. 
but, uh, you know, but that is the way it is. I do have some dental insurance. It's not the greatest, but I do have some. Pays $1,500 a year, which is better than none, but dentists charge so much money, it's ridiculous. I can't get over how much money they charge. I don't understand. It's kind of like a mechanic. They charge a lot of money too. Why so much money? Help me understand why you gotta charge so much money for stuff. It's ridiculous. Don't get it. But anyways, I am going to shut you guys off for now because I have to run into this store. But I will be back and we can chat some more, okay? Because Mike's really good at editing this stuff, so we'll talk to you soon. Bye. And I'm back. Had to run into the store and pick up my stuff for our appetizer tonight because we're having the lovely couple, Terry and Nicole Shepherdson over, our brother-in-law and sister-in-law, um, over tonight. So I'm making the Hormel dip, you know, with the cheese and the Hormel chili and all the goodness. And yeah, we're going to have that tonight and then um hopefully they don't bring the same thing because we had that happen before <laughs> so i might probably should text them and tell them that i'm making it so we don't have it happen twice in a row so there you go so now we're off to the dt really quick we're gonna go to the dt hopefully the coast is clear that's a nice vehicle i wouldn't mind having that vehicle right there what kind of vehicle is that? I think that must be the new Yukon. I used to have a Yukon a long time ago. Now it's a Chrysler. Hmm. Nice car. Nice ride. Nice ride it is. Anyway, so now I'm going to the DT to see if I can find these magnetic letters. Has anybody seen magnetic letters at the DT? Where do I find them at? I think I will find them in the children's toy section. That's where I'm thinking I'll find that. Sorry. Whoops. Oh, I jingled you guys. Whoops. Sorry, guys. You went jingle jingle. I didn't mean to jingle you that much. And uh, so we'll go whip over there and then we'll get on the old highway and getting on the highway. And we'll go see our little Kylie Mae. Our little bitty Ty Kylie Mae. She needs to see her grandma has some grandma love. Little Mimi love. They call me Mimi. Grandkids do. And then tomorrow, I'm going to make Mike, not make him, but suggest heavily that we get up early. early and um, I want to clean our deck really good so that we can sit out there and enjoy and um, we got to take back a bunch of pop cans turn, turn, he hates taking pop cans and I do too it's just a, it's a pain but it needs to be done oh and you guys can I ask a little favor too while I'm on here can you guys pray for my granddaughter Tatum she broke her foot yesterday and she may require surgery. They're going to go take her to an orthopedic surgeon today to see if surgery is going to be required because she broke the top of her foot. The unfortunate part of this is, is that she's a cheerleader. She is a base in the cheerleading world. And they have cheerleading competitions coming up in June here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's a big deal. And then they also have their nationals in... Um, I think it's South Carolina. I can't remember if it's South Carolina or if it's in Florida. Um, that was a big deal coming up this summer for them. And now if she's got this broken foot, she won't be able to participate. So it's very devastating to her because um, she's practiced and worked so hard. So um, her name's Tatum. So if you could just put her on your little prayer list, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, she's 14. Um, and she can use our prayers so thank you so much um, anyways oh, I just can't get over this day what a beautiful day God has created thank you God for this day beautiful gorgeous day oh they're selling flowers that's nice I like when people 
those roadside things on the side of the road. No, someone's got a refrigerator for sale. That's funny, you're not supposed to do that. Have the doors on refrigerators. It's kind of illegal. But, oh well. Anyways, um, we're just gonna go mosey on down, down the road. I'm um, just trying to think what else to talk about. Um, that lovely holiday called Mother's Day is coming. I don't really like that holiday or that day to celebrate because I don't have my mama. On the April 20th, my mother will be gone 38 years and I still could cry a river of tears. Still. Like it was yesterday. Um, miss her so much. You know, I was a little girl when she died and I can vividly remember it as if it was yesterday. So, I don't really enjoy Mother's Day anymore, especially with my mother-in-law being gone too, so it's just, you know, my kids, you know, when I do get to see them come around, and that's great and wonderful, and Angie and Laura always think of me, and I love those two girls for always thinking of me on Mother's Day, so that's, that's good. But, it's kind of, you know, when you don't have your parents anymore, ugh, it's just, I envy people who have their parents still. I don't, I can't imagine like um, Susan Dedden, what she's going through with her dad. You know, she explained to me, it's it's hard, you know, dealing with a parent with, you know, the issues he's got going on. And I, I maybe God protected me from that and took my parents early. You know, my dad died when I was um, 35. And uh, so I, I remember that when, when he died, I remember looking at Mike and saying, I'm an orphan. At 35 years old, I have no parents, and it was just devastating to me. I thought, I don't get to be older and have parents, but then maybe God just had, you know, protected me from that. I don't know. It was a weird feeling not having parents, you know, and you always kind of thought you'd be able to at least go to one of them, you know, but I do have many people who have their parents, you know. So if you have a parent, be good to them. Even if they've got issues like dementia or Alzheimer's, you know, they can't help that. They can't help the deck they've been dealt. You know, and uh, be good to your parents. They, they, and you young ones, be good to your parents. You old ones, be good to your parents. They're only around for a short time. So remember that. Because I would give anything to have one of my parents. So there, I've just pitched to you guys all kinds of goodness. You know, I'm a hot horse, like I'm all that. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to let you go for now. And then when I get done with the Dollar Tree, I'll pick you back up. So just hang tight. Hey guys, I'm back. I went into the Dollar Tree. I swear I only go in there for a couple things and $25 later, I have a haul. So I'm going to do this haul at home, but I will show you one thing that I got for Mr. Jaden, and it was the Paw Patrol Flatware Silverware. I thought that was real cute. He's going to like that and enjoy that to eat his little lunch with. So there you go. That's for Mr. Jaden. So anyways, that's, uh, I'm going to go hit the Wendy's here and get him some lunch, and then I'm going to go take it to him right now. and. Hopefully he'll get to enjoy that. So, and I'm gonna go hold my baby. So I had a fun time vlogging with you guys and being with you and hanging out with you. So I'm gonna let you guys go and sign off for this now and hope you enjoyed riding along with me and being with me and all that good stuff. And we'll just go right over to the old Wendy's. I'll chat for a few minutes and then I'll sign off on this. And then when I get home, I'll do my haul. Whoop. Maybe I'll take take down the the curb first. Maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, it's my first day with my driver's license, don't you know? Anyway, so um Yeah. I had to go back home earlier today and take a nap. Ooh, was I tired. I was whooped beyond whooped. I don't 
don't know where you're going, but go ahead and go. I'm going this way. Well, maybe I'll go this way. I don't know where I'm going, people. I just want to get over there to that Wendy's because that's where I want to get the lunch because I don't want to go to the Wendy's by their house because it's always so busy. And we live in two different little cities in the same or suburbs of Grand Rapids, so. He lives in Standale and I live in Wyoming, which is suburbs of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I tell you guys this just so, I don't know why I tell you this, because you never know, somebody might be from somewhere close by. Like someone told me that yesterday that they're from Michigan, Lapeer. So I'm hoping that her and I can hook up one day and chat and um, maybe meet. That would be nice. I always like to meet my Michiganders. I love, would love to meet all of you guys, what I'd really love to do, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. Me, me and um, Jody talked about if there was a way that we could like do some sort of like a get a conference room or something in, in, in a local part of the country and and possibly get us all to meet sometime. I think that would be fabulous, but I just don't know how in the world we'd ever do it, how we'd ever work it out. It would be, if you guys would ever like to do that, if you think that's something you're interested, comment down below and let me know. And just maybe, 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 maybe we can make it happen sometime. All things are possible. You never, oh my goodness, we're not going here. I'll go to the one by his house. There's, a, there's never a line of cars at this one. And there's a line of cars today. So you guys are going for a ride with me. We're going to go take a little ride to the other side of the town. But anyways, yeah, if you guys think you're interested in that and would like to figure out a way for I mean, it would have to be like a weekend thing. Obviously, not everybody would be able to attend that because there's people that live in Canada and people that live in Hawaii and people that live in other parts of the country and the world, but, you know, um, if it was planned accordingly and we could make it happen, you never know. You never, never know. Like I said, all things are possible. I think it would be really cool so anyways now we're gonna sit and wait here I shouldn't have came this way doggone it what was I thinking I wasn't thinking that's the problem I was not thinking I was not thinking at all I was thinking that I wanted to get on the other side of town that's what I was thinking this guy's got he's a little gutsy little gutsy. So anyways, Casey the boss lady, my little duck nation, if you're watching my videos, I don't know if you are, I've, I've messaged you a couple times, I miss you. I um, hope that you know that I think about you all the time and that I hope that you'll get a hold of me. Even if you're not ready to come back to the to the videos. It's okay. I get it. I do. I understand, girl. Been where you're at. Been there, done that. So, anyways, just want to let you know I'm thinking of you. My new friend, Sue Herrick. Loving my makeup, sister. Love it, love it, love it. Still feel like a princess at Christmas time. I do, I do, I do. Yep, 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 yep. So, anyways, I guess I'm going to end this video because it's going to get kind of sporadically chatty, you know. So, uh, um, I'd like you to like, comment, share, subscribe down below. I want you to remember snail mail because everybody likes getting something good in the mail except for a damn bill. I want you to do something good for somebody else so you can do... Ah, I just screwed that up, didn't I? I want you to do something good for yourself so you can do something good for somebody else. Woo! Almost busted myself there. And I just want you to have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy this fabulous weather and just take some time out to be good. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.